Kuya, isang magandang magandang umaga po sa atin. We welcome you in our bread and breakfast. And let us continue po sa ating pag-aaral ng aklat ng Ecclesiastes. And now we are in chapter 6. And I hope that every every chapter ay nagbibigay po ng kaliwanagan po sa atin instead of confusion. I know that this book is quite deep and this book ay ang dami-dami pong tanong na I hope now every day we can get to have the answer. Amen. Um, it is because man has a lot of questions. Tulad po ni, ni King Solomon, as we are in chapter 6, we come to understand na habang po si Solomon, nandun po yung craving niya, yung desire niya to, to discover and to understand things. Talaga naman pong may mga discoveries po siya, may mga nalalaman po siya. But every time mayroon po siyang nalalaman, mas lalo pong nakakaroon siya ng maraming tanong. Amen? And he can, he can never find satisfaction in everything that he discovers. And this is from a man who has accomplished so much in his life. A man who is full of intelligence, nandun po yung capacity and capability niya to really understand life. Amen? Subalit, as, as intelligent as he is, makikita po natin in chapter 6 na mas lalo lamang po siya na, na ibabaon dun po sa desperation when he comes to discover, when he comes to see that life, is, life under the sun is meaningless. Amen? As he look at life itself, under the sun, that means the life of each one of us in this world, in this earth, in every family, in every city, in every kingdom, in every nation, nakikita po niya na it is all in vain. It's all chasing after the wind. After all, marami pong hindi maintindihan ng tao. Marami pong hindi po na, talaga natin maarok. And we have seen that in the past chapter, na gaano man po ang effort ng tao, men can never fully discover. Men can never really understand a lot of things. God put eternity in His heart, and yet man has no capacity and the ability to understand these things. Amen? And so that's why meron pong craving ang tao to discover. And in chapter 6, it, it talks about, and, and ina-address po ito ng chapter 6, yung discontentment ng tao. Because of too much desire sa tao, nandun po yung discontentment, dissatisfaction. Kaya naman po, patuloy pa rin po tayo, you know, men still continue to discover. At nakikita po natin yan sa ating mga, sa ating panahon ngayon. Now, what is the title ng aking turo po sa araw na ito is Be Content and Put Your Trust on the God Who Satisfies. Be content as a man and trust God. Trust, put your trust in the God who satisfies. Now, verse 1 to verse 9, makikita po natin dito ang reality and the truth about life. Sabi po ni, ni, ni Solomon, I have seen another evil under the sun and it weighs heavily on mankind. God gives some people wealth, possessions, and honor so that they lack nothing their hearts desire, but God does not grant them the ability to enjoy them and strangers enjoy them instead. And this is meaningless, a grievous evil. Sabi po ng, ng, ng salita po ni Solomon, you know, God has the ability, He gives man wealth, He gives man possessions and honor so that we do not lack in this world. Pero it is never and it will never guarantee the joy and enjoyment sa ating buhay. Kaya nga po, marami po sa atin, we have part of all these things. Somehow, many have everything na isinulat po ni Solomon. They have the fame, they have all the honor, they have the wealth. Subalit, nakakaroon pa rin po ng void. Meron pa rin pong, mas lalo pong hindi masaya ang isang tao. Why? Because 
money can never satisfy man. Wealth can never make us content. Because actually, the more we have, the more we want more. Amen? Because we have the ab ability to, to buy more. And you know, nakikita ko po in, in Facebook, marami pong mga ganitong buhay. In, dun po sa isang bahay po nila, they collect like thousands of bags, thousands of dress, thousands of shoes. Kung ating pong iisipin, how would one wear all these things? Amen? There is only like 365 days in a year, but you have like thousands of shoes. But alam nyo, even these people, they continue to buy. And they can never be satisfied. And they spend so many things and so much things like this. Kasi nga po, sobra-sobra yung pera po nila. But if you ask them, and I can see that in, during the pandemic, they come to realize that these material things doesn't satisfy. These material things can never give Never complete them, can never put a fill in the void in their hearts. God gives us the ability to acquire all these things. But, sabi po dito, God does not grant them the ability to enjoy them. Amen? Dahil, hindi naman kasi sa mga bagay na ito magkakaroon ng satisfaction ang isang tao. No matter how much we acquire in this world, no matter how much we have accomplished, somehow, sabi po niya dito, is strangers enjoy them instead. Is strangers enjoy them instead. Amen? Have you ever experienced in your life, ikaw po yung mas able sa family? Pero alam niyo po, may kakilala po ako. Now, he was also from a very poor background. Pero nakaroon po siya ng, ng konting yaman. Alam niyo po, para siyang mayor. Kaya po niya magpainom sa marami. Pag kinantyawan mo siya, madali po siya. You know, madali po siyang makantyawan. So he, he feeds these people and, and you know, he gives them the vices that they need. So alam niyo po, yung perang pinagirapan po niya, iba ang nag-enjoy. Iba ang nag-enjoy. Minsan nananakaw pa. Amen? Minsan, we are being scammed. We are being tricked. Diba? Marami po tayong narinig like sa video o yung mga budol-budol. Uh, uh, yung, yung pinaghirapan mo na pera, alam mo, madali lang pong makuha. It can be gone in just a little while. Kaya po sinasabi po ni ni, ni Solomon na what is the meaning of all these things? You toil it, you gain it, Pero, minsan hindi mo nga talaga siya nag -e enjoy Mas malaki ang tax mo. Alam mo yon You have to pay, even for companies, they have to pay their employees. Marami, marami pong mga ways na makikita po natin ito. And when they die, minsan nakakalungkot isipin, marami po sa kanila walang tagapagmana. May news nga eh. He, he gave his millions sa kanyang aso. Bakit? Wala siyang kapamilya eh. But he toiled so much. He is very wealthy. But after all the toiling in his life, aso lang pala ang makikinabang. Anong gagawin ng aso sa pera na yun? Yeah? And we have heard a lot of kinds of these stories. Amen? Why? Because when they toil, nung sila po, they, are, they, they pursue all these material things. They, they disregarded what's the important things in their lives. Kaya po sabi po dito, it is meaningless, a grievous evil. A man may have hundred children and live many years, yet no matter how long he lives, he cannot enjoy his prosperity and does not receive proper burial. I don't know, may kakilala si Solomon. He, he know this person. He lived quite a long year. He has many children. And you know, especially those times, children 
children are viewed as a possession. The more children you have, the richer you are. Kaya po ang mga barren po noon ay na nabubuli. Okay? So, they have long life. They have a lot of children. They have a lot of property. Pero at the end, look, this man, after all these things he had done, after all the hardship in life to put up all these things, wala pong, wala po siyang proper burial. Maybe he didn't have a good relationship with his children. He had a lot of children, hundred children. He lived a very long life, but all these things were meaningless. Wala man lang po siyang natouch sa kanyang buhay. Wala man lang po siyang na-influence. Wala po siyang nabigyan ng pagmamahal at walang nagmahal sa kanya. Wala man lang po, ano Tagalog yan? Wala man lang naglibing sa kanya. At isa po itong masaklap, ito po ang isa sa nakakaiyak na senaryo sa ating buhay. Of course, we won't come to see it anymore kasi we already die. Pero alam nyo po, wala po tayo man lang ni katiting na heritage na naiwan. Money, it's not a heritage. People think today, yung mapagmamanahan po niya ang mga anak po niya is a heritage. It's not, it, hindi po yun talaga ang pinakamagandang pamana. And we see it, many people, even po yung mga nagmamana ng mga bagay na ito, they won't even treasure it. Bakit? Hindi po nila pinaghirapan. Especially if they do not have a relationship with their parents. Sabi po niya dito, he cannot enjoy his property. I say that a stillborn child is better off than he. Okay, first point is that what we learn from here is trust not on worldly things that can never satisfy. Trust not on worldly things that can never satisfy. We, can, we should never pursue or put all and everything, our life, our time, and effort in these earthly things because they are not what is most important. They are not the ones that will satisfy us. Minsan, Mas maayos pa yung buhay po nung mga hindi na ipanganak. Mas maayos pa ang buhay nung mga baby na nung pinanganak ay namatay na. Bakit? Sabi po dito, Do never saw the sun or knew anything. It has more rest than does that man. It, it comes without meaning, verse 4, it departs in darkness, and in darkness, its name is shrouded. Okay? Galing din naman siya sa walang buhay. Okay? At mabilis siyang bumalik sa kamatayan. Pero hindi po siya nagirap. Hindi po siya nagproblema kung paano siya niya pakainin ang sarili niya. Hindi niya po niya problema. Hindi po siya nag nagirap kung paano abutin yung pangarap niya. And there's a lot of things that he never experienced, yes, in life, but at the same time, he never experienced that hardship in life. And he has more, better. He's actually better than the ones who lived so long. Subalit hindi po nila naintindihan ang totoong meaning at purpose ng buhay. All they did in their lives is just toil, is to suffer, is to work, and hardship, and everything, everything that we work for are all in vain. Amen? Even if he lives a thousand years, twice over, over, but fails to enjoy his prosperity, do not all go the same place. Mamamatay din po tayo. Pero ang sinasabi po ni Solomon, mas maganda pa yung hindi ka pinanganak. Just like Job. Remember, out of the agony ni Job noon because of sickness, because of hardship, because of loss, because of grief. Sabi niya, sana hindi na lang ako pinanganak. Ba't hindi pa lang ako nalaglag? Ba't hindi na lang ako namatay nung ako'y pinagbubuntis? Because he finds life as nothing, as meaningless. 
But l imagine when Solomon wrote these things. I believe he doesn't knew yet fully God, the life that God has given him. And you come to see it at the, at the end of this chapter. But we come to see that in the futility of life, we know it's only God who can give life, who can restore, who can renew. Amen? Sabi po dito, everyone's toil, verse 7, is for their mouth. The second point, which is suffering in dissatisfaction. Everyone's toil for the mouth, for their mouth, yet their appetite is never satisfied. Ano po ibig sabihin nito? Yes, money can feed us. We can eat, we can get what we want. Pero yung desire po natin is endless. Our desire is hindi po niya ito masasatisfy. Yeah? Some people, they have a lot of money, they have all the possessions, but all they desire are friends. Pero alam nyo po, ang hirap po nilang makahanap ng friend because people will want them and like them and be close to them, not just because of them, but because of money. Kaya nga po, marami po, the more rich they are, the more they are prone for divorce. Kasi hindi po talaga nila ma-measure kung gaano sila kamahal ng tao na lumalapit sa kanila. They cannot acquire friends, they can acquire property, but instead of friends, no, true friends, they acquire more enemies. Amen? What advantage, verse 8, have the wise over fools? What do the poor gain by knowing how to conduct themselves before others? Better what the eyes than the roving Better what the eye sees than the roving of the appetite. This too is meaningless, a chasing after the wind. Okay lang po yung nakikita po sana natin. Pero nagkakaroon po tayo ng desire sa bawat lahat na nakikita natin. When we compare ourselves, when we become envious of other people. Nakabili ka ng phone mo, pero yung Yung katabi mo, mas maganda yung phone niya. Gusto mo din yun. Invest na masaya ka dun sa na-acquire mo. Nawawala yung satisfaction. Because you get to see. Yeah? And whatever you see, you want it. You begin to compare. You begin to be jealous. Amen? Kaya mahin, ito po yung, yung masaklap sa buhay ng tao. We suffer in life. Whether we have many things or little things, pantay lang, it is because we are never satisfied. We are never satisfied. We can never be content. Especially if we pursue life according to the how the world wants us to understand it. Amen? How understand? Because... You know, many of us measure a good life according to how much money we have in the bank account. According if we are able to accomplish yung bawat plano po natin. Or if we are married. Or if we have a good career. Or we are well, are we well established. How good our family are. And we measure life according to this. But is this the true life? Is this the real and the truth and the wonderful life? And you come to see even Solomon who acquired everything. Wala po sugurong hindi siya makuha sa buhay niya. Pero siya po mismo ang nagsasabi, all is in vain. All these things that he worked for, it is all chasing after the wind. Life under the sun, life that means life here on earth is meaningless without God. Amen? Without God. Men, we have an endless desire. Iba-iba po, dati nga po kami masaya na. Pag kami nakakasakit, may royal kami. Ngayon, iba na mga bata ngayon, naka-Starbucks na sila. Dapat, alam mo yun, i-jollibee mo sila. 
di ba? Iba-iba na. Kasi tumataas ang kagustuhan ng tao. Dati pag may piso kami, masaya na kami. We feel rich. Pero ngayon, bigyan mo pa ng singko ang bata, they won't appreciate. Kasi nga po, tumataas yung level ng desire. Amen? Ang tao hindi po nakokontento. That's why there is always this dissatisfaction sa buhay po ng bawat isa. And because of this satisfaction, this is what causes suffering sa bawat isa. It is what causes suffering. Lalo na pag nakita po natin yung ibang tao, they, they have more. They have what we want. And we are being dissatisfied, discontented in a lot of things. So no matter what kinds of blessing comes on our way, we can never give thanks. We can never enjoy. Amen? Because we always want something. But look, is the last, in the last point, in, in verse 10 to 12, whatever exists has already been named, and what humanity is has been known. No one can contend with someone who is stronger. Sabi po ni, ni Solomon, whatever we have, whatever is existing, it ang mga to ay pinlano na ng Panginoon. May mga pangalan na ito. It has been designed by the Lord. Ano man po yung mga, yung mga darating sa ating buhay o darating pa lamang po, ay na-design na po and no one can contend. Wala pong makapag-question with someone who is stronger. And sino po itong sinasabi ni Solomon? God. God has put everything in its position. Just like the orbit, just like every planet revolves around the sun through the orbit. Lahat ng ito nilagay na ng Painon. Predestined by God. So everything that happens in our life, somehow, we know it has been predestined by God. And, and it is under the control ng Painon. Kahit minsan, men try to twist it, men try to corrupt it, men try to distort it. But we need to understand, no matter what man does, God will always be in control. And we can never contend with Him who is stronger. Remember, in the previous chapter, the Word of God says that He is in heaven and we are here on earth. He is high up there and we are but little people. We can never comprehend His mind. We can never question God. We can never twist His creation and prosper. We can never do that. Verse 11, the more the words, the less the meaning. And how does that profit anyone? Kaya nga po, minsan nakakamali tayo sa mga sinasabi natin. Marami na po akong na-encounter ng tao. When they speak, they speak the name of God. When we, they talk about their ideals, their principles in life, they were like saying, kahit pa, Kuan pa, dumating ang Panginoon dito to judge me. They were so confident. When they talk, mali nga ang Panginoon nung ginawa niya yung ganito eh. It may be a joke or not, but no one can contend against God. Even us, we can never question God on the things in our lives. Lord, bakit mo inalaw ito? Lord, bakit naman ganun? Yeah? Because somehow in our lives, meron tayong gusto na hindi po natin nakukuha. And we think God is wrong for bringing these things in our lives. Like we were being born as a poor person or we do not have a good, good parent and we blame it all to God. Pero nakalimutan po natin we have a role to play in all these things. When we suffer, amen? Verse 12, for who knows what is good for a person in life 
During the few and meaningless days, they pass through like a shadow. Who can tell them what will happen under the sun after they are gone? Sabi po niya dito, sino nga po ba kasi ang nakakaalam ng tama o ang maganda sa isang tao? Yesterday, we have heard the kickoff ng maraming mga politiko. But I tell you, no matter how great their platforms and their plans, they too do not know everything that is good for man. Even philosophers, we, we heard it all. The knowledge of man can never be enough to fully understand and grasp what is really good for us and good for men. But you see, when we pray, when we come before God, we are so rash in our words. That's what we are saying yesterday. Na parang alam na po natin ang buhay po natin. It's like we have everything. You know, we, it, it's all under our control. Pero alam niyo po, man is short-sighted. We can only see a little, but God is in heaven and He sees everything. He knows your past, He knows you today, and He knows your future is about to come. So there are things in our lives that may not come or will come. We like it or we don't like it, but know and trust that as all these things come in our lives, we'll learn to be content and satisfied. After all, we know that God knows the best for us. Third point is be content in life. Be content, God knows the best for men. Paano nga po ba tayo magiging satisfied at contento sa ating buhay? It is only when we learn to trust God and not to trust men. And not to trust put our trust on the worldly and earthly things in this world because everything is no assurance. There is uncertainty in all things, even money. Look at our economy, tumataas baba. Our work, sometimes meron, sometimes wala. Even in our relationship, sometimes it's bitter, sometimes it's sweet. Yung iba, they have relationship, marami po. Pressured ngayon, magpo-14 na this coming week. You know, alam mo yun, yung dahil mas sasana all na lang po sila sa Facebook, anong sinasana all natin? Because all these things that we see is all make-believe. What we see in Facebook, it, it stirs up our desire in our hearts. Na alam niyo yun, you want to want it. You want to get it also. Wala kasing boyfriend eh. So dapat, alam mo yun, minsan bitter tayo, tala labas na pa tayo. Diba? But no. Everything will come in its right time sa bawat isa po sa atin. All we can do is enjoy. Kung wala kang kadate sa 14, then enjoy while wala pa. Okay? Because you don't know what's in a relationship. If God does not bring you yet into that position of having a partner in your life, then you need to be joyful. You need to be satisfied habang single ka pa. Kasi pag ikaw married na later on, hindi ka pwedeng bumalik bilang single. As long as you can enjoy that very time and stage of your life, if you are in that stage, then enjoy it. Enjoy it. Kasi nga po, there is a time for everything. Amen? And you have to be satisfied on those times. Diba? Meron nga yung mga iba, wala, hindi po nila na-enjoy yung kabataan po nila because they have to work. Okay? Kailangan nila mag-mature. Kaya they were, they were not able to enjoy that stage. 
Pero meron naman yung mga bata gustong gustong tumanda agad. And that was me before. When I was young, I really want to grow old fast. I want to be mature. I want to be independent. I want to do a lot of things. Pero na-realize ko, na-miss ko yung stage that I should have been enjoying playing. Dumating pa po sa buhay ko before we graduate in high school, I have to ask one classmate of mine to teach me how to play because I never get the chance to play. Para lang hindi masabing ignorante ako on the old old na mga mga laro before. And I have to ask them to teach me how to play. So you know, what I'm saying is that in every stage of our life, we learn to enjoy. Parents enjoy while maliliit pa yung bata. Hindi po yung nagre-reklamo tayo palagi. Ang kukulit ng mga anak namin. Darating din ang panahon na wala nang kukulit sa inyo at kayo naman ang kukulit sa kanila. What I'm saying is that we need to enjoy and be satisfied in every stage of our life, whatever comes in our way. When the children comes, yes, it is tiring. Pero alam nyo, you need to appreciate your children. Appreciate all these things that comes in your life rather than simply complaining, then be simply discontent. Kung nag-anak na lang sana kami after ng ganito, yung medyo established na muna yung career namin. No, don't say that. Never live in regrets. Because everything that happens in our lives, God has His way to allow us to enjoy it. Amen. So that's why we need to put our trust in the Lord, not on these things. May mga bagay pa siguro na wala ka ngayon na pangarap mo. It is okay. There is no timetable in terms of being yung well accomplished but choose to aspire to desire for satisfaction and contentment in your life and that only be experienced through God kaya po sabi ni Solomon everything under the sun is meaningless but there is beyond under the sun and that is God who sits on the throne in heaven and he oversees everything Amen. And you need to understand today, my dear brothers and sisters, wherever we are, especially in Metro Manila, and who's, you know, watching abroad, ano man po ang pangarap po natin, we need to learn to be satisfied, be contented on what we have at this point. At this point, mangarap tayong mataas, mangarap tayong malaki, but do not be pressured. At wag din po tayong masyadong ma-desperate o ma-disappoint when we don't get what we want. But simply trust the time ng Panginoon. And trust the ways of God because it is He who knows what is good. Amen? He knows what is not just even the good but the best for you. Kasi minsan ang feeling natin good sa atin or best sa atin, it is only something that we want to satisfy our appetite. Siya yung gusto ko kasi Lord eh. Pero siya ba ang gusto ng Panginoon? Siya ba yung good sa mata ng Panginoon? Be very careful. We want something? then ask and inquire of the Lord and allow God to move in your life. Huwag po tayong matakot na minsan mawalan. Huwag po tayong matakot na minsan masaktan. Kasi in every stage of our life, God has His way to make all things beautiful. Amen. Today, let us just pray and allow God to move in our lives. Lord, we thank you that you are the God who is over all. And you are in control of everything. And we know that you have the ability, Father, to work your way through us. Especially in times that we don't know what to do. Even in times, Panginoon, 
that we are so full of care sa aming buhay. Lord, today we just lay down and surrender everything to you, Lord. There are many things that this world offers us. There are many things, God, that we see. We have dreams. We work so hard of things that we desire in our lives. Painon, alam mo po yan. And we know that there is nothing hidden from your eyes. But Lord God, we don't want to fall doon pa yun sa stage ng buhay namin na we will come to realize everything is all in vain. Ayaw po namin na maranasan pa yun na sa huli kami ay magsisisi lamang dahil mali, mali Panginoon ang pinurso namin sa aming mga buhay. Father, today, as young as we are, and even in whatever stage of life we are in today, Painon, hayaan mo that God, may you lead us and guide us to the right path and to your perfect will in our lives. Many times in our lives, we meet people. Many times in our lives, God, we gain things, we acquire things sa aming buhay. And you even give us family. You give us friends. But somehow in our lives, we are non-satisfied. We are can, cannot find that contentment in our hearts, Father, because we are simply dissatisfied. Because there are things that we want, and there are things that we want to have the way we want it, on our own time. But Father, we have rejected and ignored your plan for us, and we never inquire of you. Father, today we just pray that God, may you remove all this dissatisfaction and discontentment in our hearts. We suffer because, our, because Lord, of our own wrongdoing. So, balit Panginoon, ngayon, nais po namin na ilagay ang aming mga mata sa iyo. To set our eyes and set our hearts on you, Father, the truth and the meaning of everything. For we know that it is you who gives meaning sa lahat, Panginoon. We have been busy with a lot of things in life, in our careers, sa aming pamilya. So balit madalas, Panginoon, kami ay tumatalikod sa iyo. Madalas, Panginoon, hindi ka namin iniintindi. And we put you aside. We set you aside, Father. But Lord God, today, we just pray and we come before you. Help us. Help us, Lord, to be closer and to learn to put our trust in you, to pursue you more than anything in this world. For you are the God who knows what is best for us. You are the God who knows what is for us. And you predestined things for the betterment ng aming buhay. Lord, I pray today that may you allow our eyes to see Lord, anoint our eyes, Father, that we can be able to screen out what we see. And that may you open our spiritual eyes, Painon, na hindi lang po puro mga earthly things ang aming nakikita. But help us to see all these things in your eyes, Panginoon. And whatever appetite and desire na meron kami, impulsiveness, Lord, when we buy things, when we do things, when we speak in words to satisfy yung appetite namin, to satisfy our emotions. Father, today, may you help us. Now, while I was praying, God impressed in my heart many of our impulsiveness, many of the things that we do. It is because of our desire to satisfy our emotions. Sometimes when we are lonely, sometimes when we feel sad, we go into shopping spree. Sometimes we do a lot ng paggastos. We spend so many time, things 
beyond what we can to satisfy the sadness, to comfort ourselves. We eat a lot whenever we feel depressed, whenever we are being disappointed and frustrated, when we're angry, when, when we are being hurt, we just simply let our emotions, our anger get out, and we speak words out of rashness. And everything that we do, it is all to satisfy the craving of our flesh. Today, as we come before God, let us, let us ask for forgiveness. Let us repent before the Lord. Father, forgive us that in many times, God, that we make wrong decisions in our lives and we are very impulsive in things, in making decisions. Because God, our appetite, our desire within us, our flesh is so much strong that our spirit is so weak. We depend so much on money. We depend so much on these earthly things, Panginoon. But this can never satisfy us. And we, when we are, when we don't get it, Panginoon, na frustrate kami, na disappoint po kami. And what happens, Father, is we just simply suffer. We try to satisfy ourselves with a lot of things in this world, but they can never will. Forgive us, even me as your servant. When when I take refuge on food, when I get stressed, Father, forgive me. Instead of putting my trust in you, instead of surrendering all my incapabilities and my limitations, on you, Father, and to trust in your ways. Father, I try to cover, I try, Lord, to fill in that void, to fill in and comfort myself with food. And this brings sickness in my body. And I know, Father, this is not your perfect will. Lord, I pray today that in whatever ways that my brothers and sisters do, may have been trying to satisfy their lives through these things in the earth. God, I pray today, help us. Help us to see. Help us to reflect. And may you transform us. May you transform us. Give us that heart, that willing to humble. And God, today we want to turn to you and return our hearts unto you, God, to trust in you, Father, for we know that you are beyond the life under the sun. You are in your throne in heaven. And it is you, his who will provide, who will complete us, who will satisfy us. Help us, Father, to put our whole trust in you in all things. Father, I thank you. I thank you. And God, I pray today for your people. They have a lot of things in their hearts. Maybe God, whether in wealth, whether in their relationship, whether in their spiritual life, Lord, they want to be satisfied by you. Lord, I pray today that may you walk in their lives, that they will have this right relationship with you, that God, as they put their trust in you, they shall receive. They shall receive what is good from you, what is best for them. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for your word today. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray that may continue to bless us and help us even in this time, Painon ng pandemia. Lord, may you reign. May you take control in our lives. Do not allow us, Father, to give in on our appetite and give in, Lord, 
or surrender on all our fleshly desires. Father, I thank you, strengthen our spirit. Fill us with your spirit more and more and fill us with your word. And Father, we also lift up unto you our prophecy course tonight. Lord, be with us and may your spirit lead us, Father. Fill this room, Panginoon, that we will more understand the work of your spirit, that we may prophesy. Father, we thank you, we praise you, and this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So I hope po na we are being reminded today. As after po ng ating morning devotion, I really want and encourage you to spend that time to reflect. Ano nga po ba? Saan nga po ba natin nilalagay yung trust? Or how do we satisfy ourselves? For me, is food. That's why I gain so much weight. Maybe some of you is different. Maybe in shopping, maybe where we in, in pornography, we satisfy our loneliness, our sadness. Maybe on our anger, our emotions. So may mga iba't iba po tayong way. And I pray that the Lord will allow you to discover it, and that you surrender it to God. Amen. Tonight, we invite you uh, on our first day po ng ating Prophecy Course 1. Uh, sad to say, this will only be an on-site equipping course. Wala, hindi po natin siya i-offer online. So I really want to encourage everyone who can come in the church on-site Take this opportunity to come tonight. And you, you, I know that God has instored great things for you. Amen. And for our brothers and sisters online, uh, hopefully, na later on po, I, uh, wherever you are right now, I may offer din po ang prophecy course na ito. So I hope lahat po ng kayang pumunta sa church tonight will take this advantage, take this opportunity to come tonight on our prophecy course. God bless po.